Hi, my name is Mauricio, I'm from FuelTech, and in this video I want to show you the new features of the 3.2 version available for download on our website for FT500 Lite, FT500 and FT600. The real-time features on the 3.2 version were all redesigned and uh, giving you more control over your screen, plus a real-time chart was added right here on the right, and uh, you can add, you can monitor in real-time up to four channels of your ECU. It's a pretty useful feature for diagnostics and it's like a real-time data logging. It's pretty useful. Another new feature of the 3.2 version is the RPM activated output. In this feature you can program an RPM above which you can uh, activate an output. And uh, people usually use this feature to power a uh, relay that controls the hot wire for coils, injectors, or maybe a uh, CDI, a uh, capacitive discharge ignition, power stage. Another very important feature added on this version is uh, especially for drag racers is the brake line lock control. With this feature you can control your uh, line lock solenoid and by use by adding a uh, solid state relay and a brake pressure sensor to your brake line it allows you to program a uh, pulse um, a pulse width modulation control and a uh, target uh, brake line pressure. We know that every tenth of a second matters, so this feature will help you launching with always with the same brake pressure. The wastegate boost controller had a big improvement in this version, especially for street users. It is what we call with the pre-launch target. It allows you to have a boost, a, a closed loop boost, uh, is it, even when you're not in a two-step or a validated launch. So when you're cruising with your boosted car, you can still have a closed loop control on your wastegate pressure. On this screen, you have access to edit all the features related to passwords. So I'm gonna type a new password here. And in this, in this, uh, in this screen here, uh, I have all the features that are locked here. And uh, if, I want, if I want to have a feature accessible without the password, so I don't want to block the feature, I just, left click on, on it and uh, you'll see that it turned green. So these features are always accessible to the user uh, even when it has when it don't doesn't have the, the password. So you can you can do this by entire menus or by specific features. Just like that. And another cool feature is uh, you can attach a, a map file, a tune, you can attach it to a specific ECU by you just click enable in this in this uh, this checkbox here and you type and you type in the the ECU password you want to attach the map for to it so it, this map won't be accessible it, it won't you it, it won't be able to load this map on another ECU that has a different serial version so you can edit here but you will read out the ECU the, the serial from the ECU that is connected to the computer right now and in this button here, you will see the passwords on the on the ECU itself. So you can add a, another password, like an uh, ECU password. So it will it will ask you to confirm the password, and then you select what you want to block. If it's red here, it is blocked, and uh, it will be you will have to type in a password in order to access the menus, in order to start the engine, or in order to read the map through the USB. And if you type if you type the password uh, or if you connect the ECU for the first time in your computer, it will ask you to type in a verification code, like a CAPTCHA. And uh, so I have to type this and we're good to go. This new update, it also brings a lot of enhancements and uh, USB speed. It is, USB communication is, is around three times faster it allows you to make down, that logging download much faster and uh, future version upgrades much more reliable. Also, uh, um, the ignition timing for engine start can now be configured according to the engine, uh, an engine temperature table. Uh, and it makes it easier uh, to customize the timing on engine start and optimize it for all temperature conditions you're running into. And uh, we also added a... Uh, Customize, customizable rev limiter according to engine temperature also. Just to remind you uh, to, to, that the engine is still cold, 
So it allows you to set a different uh, rev, final rev limiter according to engine temperature. It's pretty useful for like, like a, a safety feature. The fuel pump output has now some different operation modes. There is uh, the always enabled option, so whenever the ignition is turned on, uh, the fuel pump is on as well. Uh, the time mode uh, has now editable uh, time activation time. Uh, it is the usual for any kind of, uh, of uh, car. Usually uh, we use like a six second prime. And uh, we now added a uh, during start. So the fuel pump will only be, fuel pump output will only be enabled whenever you are uh, cranking the motor. And it's pretty useful for uh, mechanical fuel pump equipped uh, motors. So you can prime, you can prime the motor with an electric pump just uh, while you're cranking. The camshaft speed sensor can now be used only for uh, engine synchronization and after 10 correct revolutions are detected it is no longer necessary to maintain the camshaft signal for engine operation. So in case your camshaft sensor uh, fails in the middle of the pass you will, the engine will not uh, misfire or you're not, you're not lose the pass. This is valid until the engine is shut off. When you, when you turn the engine on again the cam sync sensor will, will be uh, needed for 10 more revolutions in order to synchronize it with the ECU. So, this simplifies the ECU operation and takes the camshaft sensor off the equation when an RPM signal problem arises. Now, on the data logging side, uh, we made some improvements on the status events when it comes to uh, CAN um, diagnostics and uh, all the alerts you set up on your ECU. All of them will be shown right here on the screen, status events, and all the CAN errors and uh, CAN disconnections and CAN interference and, and anything that happens on the CAN network will be listed here. And uh, also all the alerts like oil pressure, fuel pressure, um, any kind of alert you set up on your ECU will be shown here. And uh, this, this will show you the exact time on the log you, on ha you have open here, the exact time where this error occurred. So it, uh, it helps a lot uh, to diagnose some uh, problems of uh, interference or some uh, problems during the pass or some, something related to the CAN network. It shows you exactly when the error or the alert occurred. And these were some of the new features of the 3.2 version. If you have any further question, just contact our tech support. Thank you guys.